I'm Liana with Music Academy uh, International Inc. How are you doing? Welcome back. Uh, today I am ready for part two on Chopin Nocturne uh, Opus 9, number one, right? Uh, I hope you did practice and you did listen to part one. We're going to start with section B today. If you are new to the channel, please check our in our playlist. Uh, uh, we're having uh, over 150 tutorials, it's a new channel, uh, please uh, like, subscribe and share <laughs> and help growing this channel uh, and do, I would really advise you to listen, uh, to do listen all the way to the end as I'm gonna give you so many tips in this one. I'll try to make it short, probably this part B, we're gonna do it in two parts. Um, so let's see how we're gonna do. So right now I'm gonna switch the camera with the top one. So you're gonna see my fingers and let's do it. So here we are measure 20. So part B, start with measure 20. That's where we're gonna start today. It's this part. beautiful part B. I love this part. Okay, so measure 20, that's where we're starting. So let's start today with the left hand, mostly as usual. What I'm going to tell about the left hand, I'm going to, we're going to practice a little tiny bit together. Uh, the point is left hand needs to move very like freely. So you need to know it very, very, and practice a lot, left hand separate. This is the first tip that I'm gonna go, left hand. If you don't know it really, really well, this uh, nocturne, it will not go. So I'm gonna start first playing it a little bit. So this needs to be really, really, really soft. So as you can see, I barely touch the fingers. Oh, I barely touch the piano on it. <laughs> okay. On the other hand, you can see that I'm doing a little tiny bit of a rotation of the wrist up and down up and down my wrist is very flexible so it's this one is the first one and in this beautiful chord this one so i'm gonna take this one a little tricky stuff there as you can see on this one measure number 23 I'm kind of changing my finger can you see how I switch three four and went further I'm gonna go again and back again all right and then we having this one as you can see, I already shape my wrist. I have small fingers, so I need to do, you know, whatever I can do so I can catch all these big intervals here from the C sharp. I'm gonna go again and back to this one. This one, it can be even taken like that depends on you okay I'm gonna stop on this one 
measure number 27 that it's a little bit tricky so you gotta very swiftly do that okay so what i can tell you about the left hand how i would practice i would practice with rhythm so no matter that is piano or not first you need to learn the notes and then just practice faster and faster and faster until you know it very well it's not like it's very fast the end product but you need to be able to play it very faster the left hand uh, and then when you put it to, with the right hand, so to glide easily through the keys. So this is the way how I would practice. Da, ba, 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 ba. You can apply it one by one, measure by ne measure, through whole part, uh, all the way actually to uh, measure until it's coming again. You know the main theme, measure number seventy-two, seventy-one actually, or the other way around. You can do this rhythm. Another tip that I would give it to you to make a little accent always on the pinky. One, two, one, and two, three. One, 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 two, one, two, three. Right? So that would be another tip. Now, depends on the context of the, um, you know, uh, we're going to move on and we'll talk about some parts. You will need to do some kind of crescendo to be like a little waves. One, two, three, one, two, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two. aware how much uh, sound you will do to the top of this wave sometimes you need to have it a little bit like here right uh, and some 
sometimes at all right right now i'm gonna go to the right hand the right hand it's a beautiful line there we having a pianissimo uh it's a sotto voce that means under voice <laughs> somehow if i will translate that means it's very peaceful and very calm and mostly meditative you know i would say you know so and we having a lot of octaves on the right hand that are uh preferably if you have a big hand it would be to do it perfectly legato how would you do legato so you practically you should do legato on the top finger so definitely the highlight you know uh the top from these two notes this is uh, louder than the other one so this gotta be and then this you know so you just slide nicely in the the other one and then uh i'm doing legato towards the top so you can see i'm doing legato on the top here one barely touching and non legato all right so this is my right hand practice and then go go pay attention how i'm doing the top and here pay attention I'm trying to do legato right obviously if you have a uh, big hands you could do it uh, five and then three four uh, sorry uh, five three five but I can't, I'm not that comfortable doing that. Uh, I'm really not. <laughs> so that's why I'm, I'm using number four. Right? So again, this would be toward the entire, the entire uh, part B should practice, should be practiced in this manner. as you can trying to shape up the lines the, the melodic lines here it's first line first phrase second phrase interpretation i'm just going to stop here with the with the explanations you know with the the tips or for this part uh, uh, a of the part b <laughs> first uh, series right um so uh, i want you to make you know to be aware of beautiful chord after the beginning how beautiful sounds suggest if you can this one to be a little bit softer than the first one so you go and this one some kind more subdue and then you go with a line Corralentando. Why? Listen to this chord right now. Right? Compare with the 
first one, measure number 20. So this one, measure number 24, is this one. And we having a triple piano, that means pianissimo. Pianissimo. So what do you have? What do we have here? Measure number twenty-four. We have in first a poco ralentando on this, and then very piano. It's a poco stretto. It's like you go, go. the camera you know um so uh, let's talk more I'm back <laughs> how did you enjoy it i did it in 15 minutes i cannot believe myself <laughs> that actually i could do it in 15 minutes anyhow i'm trying to be as concise as possible so uh, i'm gonna review a little bit what did we talk about it so first thing left hand practice thoroughly you know with the with the rhythms I already gave you three kinds of rhythm to practice on it you know each measure one by one multiple times meaning multiple times and multiple days in a row okay it doesn't work otherwise all right right hand it's really, really important to highlight the pinky or the melody. Can you hear that? I hope the sound is enough clear for you to hear. All right. Then, um, legato as much as you can and your hands are, you know, uh, uh, big or not. So that is really important to create that legatissimo i love the word legatissimo really important and then follow absolutely all the uh little signs that are in the book like piano it's not the same with pianissimo and pianissimo it's piano pianissimo and pianissimo 
a little tip you can add when it's pianissimo you can add the left pedal or the soft pedal i did not use it at all i'm trying to do it from the fingers i love to do it if you can you know if not use the left left pedal a little bit touches here and there uh for the a better pianissimo right uh, then we having when we having poco rallentando, then we having forte, we having crescendo, we having uh, a tempo after rallentando, we having a pianissimo and a tempo, so that means go. And then poco stretto, really important, poco rallentando, a little bit of rallentando, right? So Chopin, it's my favorite because it's so romantic and I hope uh, romanticism did not disappear from this world. <laughs> um, so if you want to make it with your heart, so you got to work the way how you like it, you know, the timing, the stretching, the time, and then give it back or stealing the time and then give it back, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I do have a recording on my uh, channel with me performing. But I will do, I'm planning to do a really good one on the studio, on the recording studio. So you're going to hear more, you know, how this goes. So do listen and listen and practice again and again the voicing, how you want to do it. Uh, this part, it's not an easy part, this one. Thank you.